How do? Time for another beer review for this one. We're going to one of the beers that was in my recent House of Trembling Madness unboxing video. And it's from Collective Arts out of Canada and it's called Origin of Darkness. Now, there's a, I've got another Origin of Darkness. This one's a collab with Vitamin, Vitamin C Brewing out of the United States. And it's a, it's a long title, so bear with me. <clears throat> This is an imperial stout aged in rum barrels with coffee, almonds, lactose and speckaloos cookies. I've never heard of speckaloos cookies but I had a quick look online and they've got cinnamon in them and I think they're a bit like a biscoff from what pictures look like. I might be wrong so don't quote me on that. It's 355ml can and it's 10.3% so... A bit of a strong one but they all were strong in that box if you've if you've seen the unboxing um, I've had a couple of collective arts beers over the years they are they used to be quite easy to source in the UK now they're a little bit harder to source and um, I've always thought they were pretty decent I've heard great things of vitamin C but not had any beers by them so that looks an absolute beauty in the glass looks really thick Jet black, it's got a lovely creamy mocker head on that. No light getting through that whatsoever, so we'll get the nose. This is, I'm picking up the booze, um, picking up a spice, a nuttiness. It smells quite musty. Yeah, it's like a spice, it's like a ginger. Yeah, it's like ginger and ginger spices. I mean, we've got the Spice Girls, naming them there. Um, yeah, it does smell quite nice though. A little bit of caramel as well. Right, we'll dive in, cheers. Very nice, creamy body, thick creamy body on the beer. The ABV deceptively hidden, very easy drinking for the ten point three percent. Chocolate and spice was what I was really picking up on this. Yeah, I'm picking up the almond. I'm picking up like a like a ginger cinnamon kind of thing. Um, yeah, and a bit of like cinnamon in the aftertaste. Um, rum barrels. Don't know what kind of rum that's aged in. Um, I'm going to have to guess that it's like a spiced rum. Um, I'm not really picking up any barrel notes there um, other than this spice. I'm picking up the almonds. These cookies, are led, I'm led to believe, have got cinnamon in them. I never heard of them until I've done this beer review. So for me, I'm picking up more of the those adjuncts, the almonds and the cookies, rather than rum and um, coffee and lactose that's been added. Although I am picking up a creamy uh, body. It's very nice. Very smooth, very easy drinking, and a good start to the box. So, yeah, I'm quite pleased. I tried that one. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure. I don't think it's it's the freshest. Um, I think it's been out a while. Um, it's probably taken a while to get to to these shows. Like I say, we don't see a lot of collective arts. Um, so some of the flavours might be slightly muted as a consequence, but that is a really really good beer. Um, so that is Origin of Darkness. Imperial Stout aged in rum barrels with coffee, almonds, lactose and speckaloo cookies. Don't know how I'm going to get all that on the um, title of this video, but I will try. Um, so, thank you for watching and on to the next one. Cheers.